Good morning, everyone. How you doing? I'm actually sitting in my car. It's, uh, what time is it? Half past seven. I don't start work till eight o'clock, but I always arrive early uh, so that I beat the traffic. Don't want to get the old heart stressed, you know. Um, uh, today's topic, uh, I was wondering what to talk about. And <clears throat> as I got a stent when I had my heart attack, uh, one of the things that worried me uh, I'll be all worry whenever we've got a heart problem, you know, you can get a twinge in the chest and the first thing you do is worry. So my question back then was how long does this dent last? Um, I googled it and it comes up right away and then it gives you like, um, oh well a stent has got such and such a percentage of uh, chance of uh, blocking within the first year. Uh, to make sure it doesn't block during the first year, not only do they give you aspirin, they also give you a drug called Plavax. Plavax, I was glad to get off. I was on Plavax for a full year. Uh, the thing about Plavax is it it uh, it thins the blood as well, but it's it's really worse than aspirin. Uh, Plavax, it uh, you start taking Plavax. Uh, a side effect it had with me was, uh, what do you call it? What's the word I'm looking for? I couldn't go to the toilet. It was really painful. And uh, if I was shaving, even the slightest wee cut, and God, it was like a river flowing. You know, Plavax, I don't like Plavax at all, but uh, it definitely does protect the stent from um, any plaque growing over it. Now, it's sort of, you know, people ask all the time, you know, how long does the stent last? Uh, do I have to get the stent renewed? And, you know, questions like that there. Um, I've also read, uh, oh, yes, a stent will last for five years. Uh, you'll have to get it renewed after five years. Uh, but wait, before I go any further, just a disclaimer. I'm not a doctor. I'm sure you can see that. I don't look like a doctor. Well, what does a doctor look like? I probably do look like some doctors. But uh, I'm not a doctor. Um I don't sort of be qualified to give medical advice, but I feel I am qualified to give advice on a heart attack, uh, considering I've had a heart attack and I've lived uh, with heart disease. I've talked to a load of people uh, about heart disease that have had heart disease and I've shared experiences with them. I've been up and down to the hospital with my heart. I've had uh, the treadmill, the echogram. Um, oh, God knows what. Um, but I'll go through them all in videos with you in... Um, you know, months to come. But uh, a lot of people worry about how long a stent lasts. And there's no real time limit on it. Back in the day, they used to have the, the bare metal stents. They were just like, um, I don't know whether they were copper, but they were like copper and, you know, they were just bare metal. Nowadays, they have drug eluding stents. And I think that, I, don't know, I know that's the one I got. You know, basically a stent is just like, uh, it's uh, like a bit of scaffold. You know, if, you, if you've got your artery and it's uh, filled with plaque, uh, you then just uh, get the stent in, pushed through the plaque, and the be scaffold will just let the blood flow through it. Uh, so far, that's worked for me for 13 years. And I put this down to the likes of taking my aspirin every day. You'd be very surprised at the number of people that have a heart attack and uh, don't actually take their medicine. And... Uh, you know, go on to sort of smoke and do things like that. You know, you, you go to the hospital, you have the heart attack, you get stented and you're given medical advice and you're given medication for the rest of your life. And if you follow most of those rules, you know, you will live a long life. You'll live a hell of a lot longer than, you You know, back in the 70s when my father had a heart attack and died at the age of 46. But my dad, he had high blood pressure from, I think, late 30s because I know he was taking tablets for it. But yet again, my dad, he smoked, he smoked a lot of woodbine. And back in the day, woodbine was sort of cigarettes without tips. And he drank a lot as well and he didn't really exercise. So... You know, that was, he didn't follow the rules even before he had the heart attack. Unfortunately, he had a massive heart attack. You know, um, I don't know whether my dad had any sort of uh, signs of a heart attack uh, the, mon the months leading up to it. But I do know that, uh, you know, the signs were there. But 
Uh, I've read, uh, uh, like a lot of years of it, probably Google. I don't know whether Google's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, you can Google things that would scare the hell out of you. You know, whenever you get out of hospital and you sort of, you've just got a stent and you read, uh, oh, how long will I live after getting a stent and stuff like that there? How long will a stent last? Uh, what is my life expectancy after a heart attack? And, um, you know, you're told stuff like, uh, oh, one in four people die in the first year. And you sort of think, oh, God, you know, there's a 25% chance of me dying. But then you remember, you know, when I had the heart attack, it was like 50, 53. And uh, most of the people in the hospital that were having heart attacks were all over 75. So, you know, I was in the hospital, say there was about 20 people in my ward. I was only one in the 50s. Uh, the rest were all over 75. So if you take the 25% chance of having another heart attack, you know, the odds are it's, it's going to be somebody over 75 or somebody over 80. You know, that's the worst about stats. You can't fully read into them. And it's the same with how long does a stent last. You know, they're they're taking the stats of the old stents and sort of, you know, going back. But I find that the new stuff that um, you're getting now, you know, it lasts a lot longer. You know, I have had this stent. I'm now coming into my 14th year of having this stent. I had my heart attack on the 20th of January 2008. And uh, still, you know, I don't worry about my heart health anymore. I do know that, uh, as you can see by my fat face, uh, I have put on a lot of weight with the, uh, the lockdown. Um, I do need to lose a lot of weight. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but I, I mean, it is a fact that obesity is not good for heart disease. And um, obesity isn't even good for COVID, come to think of it. Uh, you, you've got to really look after yourself if you want that stent to last longer. Uh, do you take your aspirin. I mean, aspirin is important for to keep that uh, stent clear of any plaque. And, you know, the aspirin will break down the plaque. And... Uh, at the end of the day, you know, I've read circumstances where people have been stented and they still have this stent like 25 to 30 years later. So if, you, if you're a new patient and uh, you're sort of coming out of hospital and you're worrying, uh, you feel a wee twins, don't be, I mean, seriously, don't be. Um, the first six months after I had my heart attack, all I ever did was reach across and touch my heart with my right hand you know, imagining that there's a twinge here or a twins there. And it just played on my imagination. And, you know, even going to bed at night and having a sleep and a sort of worrying, am I going to have another heart attack? I think that's the only thing I actually thought about for the first year after I had my heart attack. You know, am I going to live to see my grandkids? Uh, you know, am I going to reach an old age? You know, so I'm 66 now. I'm 67 in April. And... Uh, well, I'd like to think that uh, I'll reach my 80s. Who knows? I might even reach 90. Uh, I might even get a telegram from the Queen. Who knows? But how long does a stent last? Uh, for some people, a stent doesn't last long. Uh, that's, you know, that's... that's bit, I mean, what can you say? That's life, you know? Uh, everybody's circumstances are different. But for me, my stent is now in its 14th year. And... You know, although I don't look healthy, I, I feel healthy, so I do. But whenever the better weather comes in, I'm going to start cycling again, get myself really fit. And I'm actually thinking of giving up alcohol altogether. Um, I might actually do a video on alcohol and heart disease because uh, it's one thing that um, I think is important. I think if you want to sort of become more fitter and more sort of healthy, you know, you need to sort of cut alcohol out. But that's just my opinion. You know, you may have a different opinion. You might like your glass of red wine on a Saturday night. And for a play to you, some people say that a glass of red wine is good for your heart. And um, it possibly is. You know, there's so many things that are good for your heart. And there's so many bad things that are bad for your heart. But who knows the truth? You know, you can only sort of take it and discover it for yourself. But how long does a stent last can't really give an answer to that. All I know is mine's lasted for, I'm into my 14th year and haven't had any problems with it at all, touch wood. 
and I know people from reading on the internet, forums and stuff like that, that have had a stand for 25 to 30 years. So technology now is great. And, uh, you know, even if you're having a, sort of like a pain from where your stent is, you know, the worst case scenario, get in touch with the hospital, uh, you're took back in, you know, you go through the operation again, and you get it re-stented, and it, it's, it's easy. You know, I mean, it's it's like going to the dentist and having your teeth checked regular. Heart disease is becoming more, it's, it's more that you can keep an eye on it because there's more information out there. But if you if you've just had a heart attack and you're worrying about it, trust me, I've been there. I, I I've worried about it. I still do worry about it. But try not to make it the only thing that's on your mind, or you'll just end up ruining your life. You know, you, you've got to get on with other things and sort of try and put it to the back of your mind. It's not easy. I know that. I still think about it, and you know, you sort of think you know you're someone with this heart condition, but. What can you do about it? You know, that is what uh, life has dealt dealt you, you know, the hand that you've been given. So the main thing you do is look after yourself. Any warning signs at all, contact the hospital and just basically treat yourself like a car. Give yourself an MOT every year and uh, anything that doesn't look right. See your doctor. If you're not happy with the doctor, just go direct to the hospital. You know, always put yourself first. That's what I do. Anyway, take care. I'm away to work. I know. What can I say? I'm in the UK. I'm 67 and I'm still working. That's because in the UK we don't get a good pension. But that's a story for another day. Take care, folks. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have YouTube, please uh, subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you could leave a comment, I would appreciate it. I always like uh, to hear other people's views on uh, their heart problems. Thanks again. All the best. Bye-bye.